Hello guys, welcome to Geeks of Geeks. Today we are going to see pandas data frame dot aggregate function. So let's see what is pandas. Pandas is an open source Python library that is built on top of NumPy library. Pandas enables us to use Python programming language for efficient data analysis. Pandas also helps us in cleaning and preparing data for various analytical purposes. Pandas can work well with a variety of data sources like SQL files, Excel sheets, CSV files, and many more. Now we will see what is Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame is a two-dimensional heterogeneous data structure with labeled axes. For data analysis, we store our data in Pandas data frame. Pandas data frame has various built-in methods which helps us to perform various operations on our data. Now we'll see what is pandas data frame dot aggregate function. Pandas data frame dot aggregate function is used to apply some sort of aggregation across one or more columns of the data frame. Some of the most frequently used aggregations are sum. It returns the sum of the values for the requested access. Min returns the minimum of the values for the requested access. Max returns the maximum value among the values for the requested access. Hi guys, welcome back. Now we'll see the implementation of pandas data frame dot aggregate function. For this implementation, we are using a CSV file. This is the link to the CSV file and this is the link to the article. You can refer the article and download the CSV file. So now moving ahead, first we will import pandas library as pd. Now we will read the CSV file data into our data frame. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this line. Now let's visualize the data frame. So this is the first 10 rows of our data frame. Now we will use aggregation to aggregate some values of our data frame. And remember, aggregation only works on numerical columns. So we'll find the sum and minimum of all the columns of this data frame. So this is our output. As we can see here, only four columns are represented here because these are the numerical columns. And for each column, the sum and min value has been returned. Aggregate function also provides the flexibility to use different aggregation across different columns. For this, we pass a dictionary to the aggregate function with column name being the key and the aggregation functions being the value. I'm just gonna go ahead and run this line so as we can see here, different aggregation function has been applied on different columns of this data frame. And any values are filled for those places where aggregation function has not been applied. Thank you for watching. Please leave us the likes and comments.